what's going on guys, it's your boy Outlaw Evans and I'm here today with my last ever Call of Duty Ghosts video that's right, the time has come to say goodbye to ghosts and get ready to say hello to Advanced Warfare there were many ghosts gameplays that I could have used for my final ghost video but I decided to end the ghost era with a flawless game of team deathmatch to go out in style without any bullshit deaths although to be honest there are a few times in this video where I should have been killed but these noobs on the other team didn't have a clue what they were doing Wait until you see the final score and you see the scoreboard. This could be one of the most one sided games that I've ever been in. You'll see what I mean when you see it. Anyway, today marks the end of an era, the end of a cycle. By the time this video is up, Advanced Warfare will officially be released already in places like Australia and New Zealand due to the time difference. Shout out to my Aussie and Kiwi viewers. I know I have some of you guys over there on board because I see it in my YouTube analytics page. I've tried very hard not to get caught up in the hype of Advanced Warfare, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to playing it, especially as I'll be playing it myself in around 8, maybe 10 hours time. To be honest though, I probably won't even play online properly for the first day. I most locally just play against bots so that I can get used to the movements like the double jump and also so that I can get a little feel of the maps and what sort of stuff I'll be using in my creator class setups. From what I've seen so far I can see myself using the BAL 27 assault rifle with red dot sights but we'll see what happens, see what I feel comfortable using. I don't know about you guys but I would much rather jump in against the bots rather than go straight into multiplayer and get fucked up by people that have already played it a lot. The last thing that I want is to get pissed off with it on day zero. I know for a fact most of the boys that I game with will be playing it so we'll probably just party up and start destroying bots. Like I just said though, the last thing that I want is to get pissed off with it on day zero because I'm stuck with Advanced Warfare for the next 12 months even if it's terrible, I just won't go back to Ghosts. When the new Call of Duty is out, I never go back to the old ones. To be fair to Ghosts though, it doesn't deserve all of the criticism that it gets. Of course there is a lot wrong with it, but that can be said about every Call of Duty. A lot of the problems come from the way people play the game, not the actual game itself. Over the last 12 months, I couldn't even put a number on the amount of people that have done nothing but moan about the connection and the hit detection. Now from my own personal point of view, the hit detection has been decent overall and so has the connection. I hear people talking about host migrations, but I can count on one hand the amount of host migrations that I've experienced during Ghosts. Now compare that to Black Ops 2, we used to get more host migrations in one hour of playing time than what I've had in a whole year of playing Ghosts. The connection has been terrible over the last few weeks on Ghost, so I was playing it a few nights ago and I had to stop because the connection was awful. It doesn't help when you are in the UK and you are constantly in games against French, Germans, Italians and the rest of Europe. Plus when you add in the fact that a few of the lads we game with are American, then you can see why the connection could be terrible. I don't care what anyone says though, I have 120 meg internet speed. I should never lag or experience any other connection problems whatsoever. Like I keep saying, all I want is good connection. I can deal with all the camping, the quick scoping and the other bullshit that is going to be in advanced warfare. Just give me some good connection and I'll be good to go. From last November all the way till around this September, I can't really complain about the connection. There are not that many people playing ghosts these days anyway. Not on PS4, I always check and it is always around 22 to 25,000 online. There were 52 people playing cranked the other day. That was it, 52. There were even less than that on some modes. Imagine what those numbers are going to be like next week when Advanced Warfare is out. Or even after Christmas, when the Christmas noobs are out in full force on Advanced Warfare. There'll probably be less than 10,000 people playing Ghosts after that. They'll have to change the name from Ghosts to Ghost Town. That's about
everybody for today though guys my last ever call of duty ghost upload is over if you had to rate ghosts from one to ten with one being poor and ten being great what would you give ghosts let me know in the comment section below personally i'd give you probably a six maybe a seven but probably a six yeah I say this every video, but only say it because it's true. Your support is very much appreciated. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Till next time, I've been out of Evans, and I'll see you on Advanced Warfare. Peace. Listen very carefully, I don't fuck around It's the outlaw, Evans, number one pound for pound Fucking all your little campers up on Call of Duty Banger bitches in Los Santos, get that grand theft booty I'm the undisputed champion, the king of FIFA Beat you down so bad, you wish you had a major And I haven't even started yet Outlaw Evans, motherfucker, that's a name you won't forget Beast mode's always active when I'm running through the maps Tapping flags, collecting tags, hunt you down till you collapse Call in my streaks, I dominate your cry and submit Another Victor 40 out the on your knees and I say quit Packing networks in Chicago The Titans causing havoc Yeah that's right I said the Titans causing havoc Stone Cold Stunners in the ring TKO's in the octagon I'm a ruthless motherfucker Show the haters how it's really done Teach your brothers and sisters with fairness and love Cause that's the way to win friends and rise above All pettiness and anger, racism and hate Don't you wanna be the person everyone will celebrate? Treat your brothers and sisters with fairness and love Cause that's the way to win friends and rise above All pettiness and anger Anger, racism and hate Don't you wanna be the person everyone will celebrate? I know you're not in your head Outlaw Evans The baddest motherfucking outlaw on YouTube